This video screencast is how to import posts from one WordPress site to another WordPress site. So for this screencast, we're actually uh, going to assume that um, the scenario would be that you have a WordPress site and maybe you want to move it to another one. And, uh, you, you know, maybe you're, you, you don't really care about the theme and maybe you're rebranding or or maybe uh, you've actually had a website that um, that you really want to focus on, but you actually have more than one site, so you're going to take back the other content and put it into the other site. So, in the case of both uh, sites are WordPress, um, this is pretty cool. Um, so, what will you do? You would do is you go to your WordPress backend. Uh, we're going to uh, assume that you already have the export file um, and have uh, seen the video uh, how to export uh, your WordPress site um, in WordPress, uh, especially your posts, comments, content, images, whatnot. So uh, you have that file, it's an XML file, and what you're going to do is you're going to want to import it. So you come into your WordPress backend and you go to Tools and you see Import. So you have uh, op several options uh, ready for you. Um, if you have it from a different CMS or RSS or something like that, um, but in this case, we're actually um, going from one for WordPress site to another WordPress site. So we're going to go ahead and, and, uh, and click on the WordPress. Well, this is not automatic, so you actually have to install a, a plugin, but that's okay. So we're going to go ahead and click install. So uh, now that we've installed it, we're going to activate that plugin and run the importer on that one. So. Um, it tells you how to upload your extended uh, RSS WXR file and we'll import the post pages, comments, custom fields, categories, tags, and, uh, and tags into the site. Um, you choose the WXR file or the XML file to upload and then click upload to file and import. So you're going to choose it from your computer. you can see this file is called XML uh, and then you click upload, upload file and import and as you can see um, previous to uh, this site maybe you had other users and um, this is kind of more test data but um, in the case that you actually had a user already on that you can select whatever user um, but we don't have any extra users here so we're gonna go ahead and uh, download and import, and ta uh, import files and, and attachments. So that means from the old site, we're going to download all the images. And if you have other files like PDFs, Word doc files, or anything in your in your WordPress media library, then this is uh, this will allow you to do that. So you click submit, and the plugin does all this awesome stuff for you. So sometimes it'll tell you if uh, you've in, in failed to import certain things, and in the case that you do that, or maybe say you have an XML file that is larger than what your web host allows you to upload uh, to your site, you may have to actually take several times to import that content. So you may have to go run the importer several times. So um, it tells you all done, have fun. So. Now we've got 25 posts instead of 3 posts, and we've imported it. We have 16 pages, 53 categories, 50 tags, 30 comments. Um, so now uh, we have more posts, and we've imported a, a, a different web um, WordPress site over to another WordPress site. And you can do this uh, for uh, uh, any any website uh, if you're having a fresh install. Of WordPress or maybe um, from WordPress.com or 
you can you can uh, and easily use this importer for any any type of WordPress install as long as you have that XML file. Um, thank you for listening to this and uh, watching this screencast.